I am Anil Kumar and now let us see how to solve trigonometric equations in which primary and secondary trigonometric ratios are involved. So we have 2 sin theta minus 3 cosecant theta equals to 5 and we need to find the solution in the domain from 0 to 2 pi. So let us write cosecant as 1 over sine. So we can write this equation as 2 sin theta minus 3 times 1 over sine theta, right? That is cosecant theta equals to 5. And now we can multiply each and every term by sine theta. Remember we do have a restrictions now that sine theta cannot be equal to 0, right? Since it is in the denominator. That means we are eliminating values like theta equals to 0, pi, 2 pi, I mean, I should say n pi from our solution. Okay. Now, let's multiply each and every term by sine theta. So, what do we get? We get 2 sine square theta minus 3 equals to 5 sine theta, right? So, when you multiply everything by sine theta, then this sine theta cancels off. You get sine square theta and 5 times sine theta. Now bring every term to left side. So we get 2 sine square theta minus 5 sine theta minus 3 equals to 0. So you see you get a quadratic equation in sine, right? So now you can factor this equation. To factor, you are looking for product of minus 6. So you need to multiply two numbers p and q to get minus 6. And their sum should be how much? Minus 5. The two numbers are minus 6 and plus 1, right? So we can write minus 5 sine theta as combination of these two. So let's write down. So we have 2 sine square theta minus 6 sine theta plus 1 sine theta. That means sine theta minus 3 equals to 0. Now let's factor forming combinations of 2. So from the first two terms, we can take 2 sine theta common we get sine theta minus 3 and here we have plus sine theta minus 3. 1 is common here, right? Now sine theta minus 3 is a common factor. So we get 2 sine theta plus 1 equals to 0. So basically we can get two solutions from here. I mean for sine theta. One is either this factor could be 0 or we could have 2 sine theta plus 1 equals to 0. So we have sine theta minus 3 equals to 0 or or and uh, we have 2 sine theta plus 1 equals to 0. Now this gives us sine theta equals to 3 and here we get sine theta equals to minus half. Now sine theta equals to 3, that is not possible, right? So not possible. So that is not a solution. But here we do have solutions, correct? So let us see how to find solutions for sine theta equals to minus half. And we are working in the domain from 0 to 2 pi, right? So that is the domain. Now as you know, sine theta is negative in two quadrants, correct? In quadrant 3, and in quadrant 4. So we are looking for something in quadrant 3 and something in quadrant 4. To find what is the principal angle, we will first find the acute angle, the reference angle, right? So let's say alpha is a reference angle. So and we will solve for sine alpha equals to half, right? You can use calculator and say alpha equals to sine inverse of half and find the answer. The other way is we can also draw our standard triangles, right? Special triangles. I hope you remember 30, 60, 90 or pi by 3, pi by 6 and pi by 2, right? So this triangle. So in this particular pi by 3, pi by 6 triangle, you know the side ratios are 1, 2 and square root of 3, right? So sine pi by 6 is half, correct? So we get alpha as equals to pi by 6. You can use calculator to get the same answer. But our answer theta within 0 to 2 pi, we need minus half, right? So minus means we are in quadrant 3, 
or in coordinate force these are the two solutions so so far as theta is equals to either pi plus pi by 6 or it is 2 pi minus pi by 6 you get the idea so pi plus pi by 6 is 7 pi by 6 right 6 plus 1 and here we have 12 minus 1 as 11 pi by 6 so these are the two mm -hmm. solutions for the given equation in the domain 0 to 2 pi I hope the steps are absolutely clear so whenever you have a trigonometric function uh, primary and secondary combined together write them as a primary trigonometric equation and then it may become like a quadratic equation factor solve and get your answer as we did in this right I'm Anil Kumar you can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot thank you and all the best